Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Void Hero Map Minecraft where we started with no blocks, but now we're popping off in the block department. Uh, anyways, if you guys have missed any episodes, you can always check out the playlist and get caught up on those you have not yet seen. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into it. Well, first of all, I'm gonna have to go take a nap because it looks like the sun just went down. Perfect timing. Alrighty, so now let's go ahead and add to our garden. What up, pig? We got our buddy, our pig here, who may have a name. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Let me see what you guys think. Uh, but anyways, for the garden today, we got a couple comments that I'm going to go ahead and add people for. Uh, first one being Codzilla for this comment. Since you're spending some time building and making things look nice, I'd be careful with some of the future fragments. Some of them are massive and will overwrite stuff they happen to overlap with. And that is super helpful. I appreciate that because, like me, you know, knowing me, I am a dingle hopper sometimes. I might have just thrown something that would just completely wreck my world. Uh, but now I know that, like, I can go ahead and, you know, expand out and, like, throw things out farther so that way I don't end up messing up. You know, the nice house, the uh, the good old mob farm, the village area. Uh, but anyways, yes, welcome to the garden. Let's go ahead and throw your name up here on the sign. So we'll go ahead and throw up a Codzilla. Much appreciated. Great comment. Welcome to the garden. Next, we're going to add another commenter um, because they dropped a name suggestion for the pig. I don't know how you guys are going to feel about this, so leave more comments and let me know what you think about this name for the pig. <laughs> but, uh... Bean the gamer dropped name the pig dingus pig and uh, he dropped some other info about like you might need to break the door to let the pig in push him in uh, yeah we got the pig in so that's all good but anyways how do you what are you doing what are you doing my dude you can't go up here uh, what do you think of the name dingus pig and also you you need to like m move out of this zone here I need carrots already so I can like get him to move places but anyways you may be a dingus pig so let's go ahead and, <laughs> and add uh bean the gamer here bean the gamer welcome guys to the commenter garden look at that we have a sign filled up already so anyways if you want to get added to the comment garden drop a good comment down below on this video and in the next one i may choose you to be added to the comment garden uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and add somebody also to the member zone. Getting into the member zone. They also dropped a comment. I'll go ahead and pop that up right here. Uh, you should make an auto smelter, which is a good idea. I'm going to need a lot more iron. I think I got like 22 iron. Uh, so since the last one, I kind of went and did a bit of expansion and iron farming over in this direction. Uh, so I did get a decent bit of iron. We're up to 22. But for like the auto smelter, I'm going to have to go ahead and make a whole bunch of hoppers and, you know, um, maybe even a, a blast furnace. I guess you don't really need the blast furnace. You could just have an auto smelter be a regular furnace and do all the stuff. And uh, we do have room here, like up in the ceiling. We could kind of build it here. Uh, it's just a matter of getting a lot more iron. So I think we'll do that. It's just, you know, when we get to there. But I'm adding him for that and also for being a member. Ross has been a member on this channel for 10 months. Holy schmoly. Thanks a bunch, Ross. Much appreciated. And uh, welcome to the member zone. Alrighty, but anyways, today's plan. Let's go ahead and uh, grab a fragment. I got a new fragment last time because I built the mob spawner. I actually did, like, between the last one and this one, I did a bit of mob spawner. Um killing like I just kind of took them out there at the at the mob farm there got a bunch of cave fragments because you get those from them but I also got temple fragments so I'm kind of curious what this is gonna do so let's go ahead and see if we get a few more let's take out some mobs here and uh, oh look they're like entity cramming that, this thing is super efficient holy schmoly the heck is that one there's a, a blue one in there what the heck is that but yeah holy crap my god Oh, look at the experience. I'm at 30 levels. Oh, oh my god. This is in insanity. I did get uh, another temple fragment. I'm going to have to do this real quick. Don't want any creepers on my head. Yeah, I think we're pretty much good on cave fragments. I think we're pretty much good on, on temple fragments. Actually, nine's probably not that much. It depends on what these temples are, what they do for me. Let's throw some of these back into here. Yeah, we got, we got plenty. Ocean fragment. Oh, that's a good one. I think that's, um, actually, 
I wonder if it's a rare one. Uh, use an ocean fragment obtained from fishing or, mo or a water mob. Huh, I wonder what water mob was in there that gave me an ocean fragment. But anyways, we have one, so we can kind of knock off another advancement. We have pillager outposts we can actually create too. Deep dark, oh man, I, I should have looked more at these uh, achievements. Igloo fragment from a stray or a snow golem. Oh yeah, dude, this is gonna get, this is gonna get bonkers. We can create an ancient city. Is it a full on ancient city? Dang, dude. All right. <laughs> but anyways, we got temple fragments. So let's go. Uh, let's go try this out. I think I am gonna. This way has become kind of a mess with the caves and stuff. So I think I'm gonna head this way to do it. Also, this is a little sketchy. There's kind of a a creeper like right over here. I'm a little bit nervous about. I'm gonna try and like pop in on his head or something here. See if I can uh, smack him off of here. Yep. There we go. Goodbye, buddy. Yeah, I've been trying to like light this area up and clean it up and stuff, but it's just this area has just gone crazy. <laughs> I don't know what I can really do. I'm gonna throw some more torches down and stuff, but yeah, at the end of the day, I think th it is what it is. You know, this is just gonna be a s zone that's spawning baddies. Ooh, I missed a piece of iron. The heck was I thinking? No! Oh, you don't you don't even realize how much. Oh, it did fall. I'm gonna say you don't even realize how much iron has just fallen off the the edge of this thing absolutely insane um so i wonder if it, you think this is probably far enough away i'm thinking this is far enough away we'll go ahead and throw my temple fragment actually maybe what i'll do i'll just kind of like just to be safe we'll go ahead and we'll build a little platform out this way to throw it on so that way like you know we're for sure we're not gonna fudge things up kind of expand out like this a little bit all right that ought to be good and let's go ahead and uh, let's see what we're gonna get from this thing here we go oh Oh, okay. It's actually just a full-on temple. It kind of it kind of slipped right off the edge of the platform there. I wasn't wasn't expecting that, but anyways, this is kind of good. Oh, and this might oh this will give me the redstone that I wanted, won't it? Because these have like little redstone things in here, don't they? Let's see. Let's get in this thing. See if it is like a regular temple. Okay, yeah, we got an entrance over here. Looking looking all right. And yes, we have this. We have this. Okay. Um. Where do they keep the little trip wire? I ain't trying to get shot here. If you break that, yeah, there we go. A little bit of string, trip wire hook, very nice. We could actually make like a crossbow or something, I think. And we got a chest. And what do we get? We got wild armor trim. Oh, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm gonna have to actually get myself some armor at some point, right? But we have a, an armor trim for it now. So that's actually pretty cool. A bit more iron, can't go wrong with that. Uh, but this, this I'm excited about. We're getting like a redstone now. I was I was just talking about wanting to get some redstone and uh, pistons and stuff so I can fix my situation over at the the mob spawner. And now look at that. We happen to have a bit of redstone and some dispensers. I could probably set some stuff up with these dispensers. Oh yeah, it's rigged with TNT. I, for, I didn't even realize that. How did I not realize that? I guess I've not I've not really explored these too much. No! Oh no no no! How did that happen? How did that happen? <laughs> I didn't want that. What? How the heck did that happen? They they had that thing, they had that thing rigged real real good. I I didn't realize that that was a thing that would that would happen. What the fudge? Like I said, I've n I've not explored these temples too much. Maybe I need to because um yeah that was <laughs> that was no good. All right, well we'll have to go ahead and throw another one then and see because there is another chest that spawns and um you know it could have had good stuff but now we won't know. I'm gonna like go on top of this thing and uh, we'll throw our next one up top here. Let's also like throw a few torches up here just so that way we're not getting even more mob spawn areas because the more mob spawn areas we get, the less effective our mob spawner is gonna be. So yeah, we don't we don't want that. We want the most efficient mob spawner we can get. I'm just gonna build out a little bit off the side here and we'll throw another one of these doohickers. We're getting some crazy, crazy land generation here now. We're, we're restoring the world, but in like a super weird way. All right, and I'm gonna try and like keep it on the platform this time, because like it, the one really slid like crazy. Oh, that one spawned me like inside of it. All right, so this time like, first of all, let's check out the uh, lower chest, just because like, or the first chest, because um, the TNT situation was pretty bad. Let's bust these. We don't wanna like trigger anything, right? I broke the TNT and it caused 
it caused the trap to happen, I think. I don't know how that works. How the fudge do you set something up like that? See, that fired anyway. I didn't think it was supposed to fire when you break the thing. Anyways, this is good. A bit more redstone. Can't complain about that. All right, let's try and like, let's see what the situation back here is. All right, the, the redstone's broken going to that. So how, how did that manage to get set off? How does this manage to get set off? What the butts? I, I just don't get it. What is that linked to that's causing such a thing? But there's nothing over there. I thought there was supposed to be more chests in this thing. Look at all these arrows we're getting though. That's kind of good. And the redstone. Ooh, iron. Check this out. We got a diamond. Very nice. Is that uh, gonna be an advancement? I think there is an advancement for diamonds. Obtain a diamond block. Oh, okay. Hey, we got a new thing we can grow though. We got bamboo. Frig yeah, we could actually like kind of automate wood uh, production now. That is that is gonna be super nice. Yeah, I think like I never really explored these temples much because they're kind of I mean now they're giving me good stuff because I don't have a lot of resources. But in general, like in your regular vanilla worlds, they're not giving you the most useful stuff. So like I don't know, they're just not really worth exploring, I guess. But it is nice now that we're getting them here and we're getting some friggin' diamond blocks and stuff. That's pretty handy. Also, it's a good source of like cobblestone too. We could like just break the whole building down, get a whole bunch of cobblestone, moss cobblestone for doing some building projects and stuff. So kind of cool. Oh, an enderman. Should we attempt to take on an enderman? I don't have like armor or anything, but I could do one of these numbers. Um, if he just chills for a minute, we can kind of like, you know how you build the little uh, safety zone? Actually, I don't know if this is going to be good enough, but we could... Uh, we could try it out. Let's see. Come on, buddy. Oh, a creeper, of course, coming too. Why do you have to be here, creeper? Please go away, creeper. Enderman, get up here. Creeper, go away. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't know where he's at. I just look away, maybe. Enderman. He's going to be mad, dude. He's going to knock me into the void or something. God, this place is sketchy now. I need to go sleep. It's so bad here. Fudge! I knew it. I friggin' knew it. Spiders. Oh, God. Everything is bad. It's all bad. I don't know why, like, your spawn doesn't get set. You can sleep in your bed here, but in uh, this world, the spawn is always, like, in a different place. All right, so for right now, what we need to make is two pistons. So I'm going to go ahead and grab everything I need for that. I think that should be it. I think we should be able to craft a piston. Yep, okay, so let's make couple pistons um, we don't have slime so I can't make them sticky but what I can always do this is usually the way I handle it I grab a little bit of sand or we're also gonna need our water a bucket uh, redstone and a lever and I think that should be everything we need to go ahead and uh, get this thing going all right so what we're gonna need to do here we need to build a little bit of a water source back here and I think we're gonna break this block no I think we actually need this to be up one don't we Yep, that's fudged. I fudged it. Now I gotta take these guys out. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's all it's all bad. Oh no, it's that's so bad. We didn't we didn't want that. Not at all. Oh god, no. Alright, I gotta I gotta take a bunch of fools out. They just keep coming. They don't stop. <laughs> Fudge. I need a new sword now already. I don't wanna do like an iron one because um I guess I could for like fighting some of the endermen or whatever. Gosh darn it, where are you coming from? What the butts? I'm gonna need to like make a shield or something now here. God, I've made my place so dangerous now. <laughs> all right, let's take all these guys out. Oh no, oh no, that was bad, that was nearly bad. I just need to get everybody out of this hole so I can like fix this thing. All right, there you go, stay out of the hole. Do not go in the hole. So what we really needed to do, I think, is build this thing up one bit higher. Um, and then we need to, I, you need to eat some bread, that's for sure, because uh, health and hunger low. We need to be on this level. Yes, there we go. We need water to flow from here. You know, I might need to disable this thing, this whole thing. But that would require me going up top, and that's going to be very bad. Actually, I think I might be able to throw some sand there, because that's going to be... Yeah, this might this might be all right. We might be able to we might be able to make this work. So we need water there. Um, we need the piston to be under here. 
We actually need it to be a bit lower. What's underneath me? Nothing. Yeah, this might be a little tricky. We do have this level over here, though. If I can reach... Yeah, if I can just build from over there over to under here, then um, we should be able to get the pistons under there. All right, so we want to be right underneath of this spot. I think this one right here. I think we need to be right under here. Let's just build a little bit of a platform under here so I can get under here and do my, do my work. That should be good. Now, if we go up top, I'm going to have to get rid of this sand for a moment. Hopefully nothing bad is going to happen here. There we go. And um, I think I do, I need to, do I need to place these from the top side? So I think we need them to be like this. Yeah, that that's gonna be it. And then the sand's gonna be there, so that way it pushes it up. Yeah, this is, this is the way. This is sketchy, because things could happen right now and that would be very bad and not good for my health. There we have it. That's what we needed. And of course, a creeper just dropped in. Um, that was good timing though, because at least it wasn't in when I was in there. And we have a new friend, holy schmoly. It's just pigs, like we're only getting pigs here. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to feed you. Where am I gonna get food for you? All right, so now what we need is we need redstone torches. Um, we need one or, I don't know if we need two of those or one of those. Um, and if we put it directly underneath, is that? Okay, I think we do need two. I'm hoping we have enough redstone for this. I can always spawn in a few more of those uh, jungy temples. So I think now if we put power into this block, will that disable that? Yes, okay. So my redstone knowledge is okay. Uh, we're gonna need that to be wired up to both of those. Now will that still work? No. No, I lost some redstone fudge. I need to make my platform bigger. Gosh darn it, when you're floating over the void and you're working with redstone, just make your platform bigger. Don't waste your redstone. Gosh darn it. Okay, so we could do, wire it from both sides like that. No, so it's gonna have to, yeah, it's gonna have to come off of it like this a little bit. And then we can link it in the middle, like so. So now if you were to lever this, now it would disable both of them. Okay, cool. Um, I don't want to lose my freaking lever. They're not super expensive, but, you know, it's, it's, it's what I've got here, you know? We're trying to work with what we've got. So this, I believe, could be closed up now. Because we're going to need to bring this redstone upwards somehow. Let's also light this up. So now we need a trail for this redstone to go up. A bit of a staircase here. Something like that. I guess we're gonna need to turn it. Let's just start putting it down, make sure this is actually gonna be all right. Then to there. Um, I see, I'd like to bring it around front, but I don't know that I have the ability to do that. Should I maybe just leave it there? Is that gonna work? Yeah, that'll work. I just have to come around the side to be able to activate it. So now all we need is a little bit of water. So we need one, we need two bits of water, like so. And so now, this what we're gonna do um, we can just come here and say we take out some mobs. Very nice. We got some mobs taken out and we get a little bit of loot. Come around here, hit that, and it should just go ahead and push the loot to right there. And I can pick it up. Easy peasy. And then, uh, you know, we want the mobs to fall down and get hurt, so we come over here and we disable the situation. And now they can fall down and uh, smack their faces on the ground. Very nice. All right, so this should be decently safe under here. I think we have enough lightage. I'm also gonna, I could block that up too. We don't really need that open. Um, yeah, easy as that. So if you are making something like this on your world and you wanna have an easy way to get yourself some uh, some lootage, uh, all you need is sand and pistons. You don't really need sticky pistons because the sand's got gravity. So whether it gets pushed up or down, it's gonna, it's gonna go with the flow. Now, another one I really wanna get like automated would be bamboo. I guess for now, let's just start growing some bamboo because it is a pretty good wood source, especially once it's like, um, you know, kind of going on its own. But I need some quartz for that. So I need, I don't know if there's like a nether fragment or something like that. So maybe we'll get to that at some point to the nether situation. I, I hate the nether. It's always a very dangerous situation. This is also a very dangerous situation. What the heck is this? 
going on here? Well, we don't want him by the freaking villager. You need to get the butts out of here, my dude. You are really going to freak things up, aren't you? Gosh darn idiot. Yeah, this uh, th this whole lightage situation now that I've created is is so bad. The fact that things can spawn is... Oh, no, no, no. I... What do I do? Fudge, 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 fudge. You idiot. No, you dumb idiot. Be gone. <laughs> ah, that's what you get. Yeah, this situation I've created is, is very bad now. Uh, but anyways, I've been waiting for this. I'm sure you guys have been waiting for this. We have an ocean fragment. This is the next uh, achievement that we're going to do here. What did I do? Did I put my ocean fragment away? Oh, I wish... I, I need to bring this other pig inside. I just wish I had something to feed these guys. So we have two pigs now. We got a pig family. All right, so let's go ahead and throw this ocean fragment. I guess we could just kind of keep on keeping on this direction because, like, you know, it's... Uh, I was going to say it's safe to throw them this way, but, like, it's not safe for me. There's a lot of baddies over here, but it's safe for the uh, builds that we've done you know it keeps the stuff kind of far enough away you idiot fudge where am I oh it spawns me over here great why am I here there is iron here though so that's that's good I would have missed that otherwise I don't know why it's deciding to. why am I sinking oh fudge let me up I can't get up oh this is so bad <laughs> well you guys have fun in there are they fighting each other oh no they're just getting wrecked by that I think maybe this guy gave me the ocean fragment. Let's see. God dang it, I died again. Yeah, like I see I got another ocean fragment. I think it was from like a glow squid. Or we're getting a little bit more light in this in this zone, so like that's that's good. Eventually we'll have it safe enough. It's just like it spans so far, like it's up, down, it's all over the place. Just cause it's been so like I don't know, it's, these things just kind of go crazy sometimes when you throw them. There's a bit more iron over here. I'm going to grab it real quick. I know I'm getting so distracted. Why am I so easily distracted? I'm supposed to be throwing an ocean fragment, but here I am mining a bit more iron. You can, just, you can never have enough iron, you know what I mean? Nice. A little bit more iron. And, oh, never mind. I thought there was an, I seen particles and I thought it was an enderman for some reason. No! <laughs> it wouldn't be an episode of Void Hero if I didn't fall into the void and then spawn on my top of my house <laughs> fantastic look we have a horse gosh darn it man i wonder if i'm able to get a saddle it's not like i have any like major riding area anyway but still it would be cool all right can i get back to what i was doing now mobs can you leave me alone and stop distracting me with the lovely iron all right i'm kind of hoping this is far enough away i think let's throw it this way so that way uh you know it'll expand out away from like the house and this other stuff let's um let's see what happens oh oh hey we got the uh advancement use an ocean fragment uh from a fishing or water mob okay yeah that's it so yeah this is cool we get their fragment back did we like do we actually get anything is this uh oh i see is it one of these things you know what i need really bad is um oh i I don't have chicken. I need a feather, don't I? I was gonna say I need to like start doing archaeology. I can't really because uh yeah, because I don't have the feather. You know, I think having too many of these in the world might be kinda bad. Having all that like flowing water just going off the side. Can't that cause some like issues? Don't ask me why. I don't know why. I just I thought it right now it would be a good idea to just build a walkway around this thing. I I don't know why that thought was in my head and why I'm doing it right now, but there we go. This is like an entrance to this. It's like one of those underwater little uh, structures. And uh, I thought they usually had chests, but I think we should have... I think this should be sus sand. Some of this. I can't... Or uh, sus gravel. I can't really tell. But we have we have more of these. Let's throw another one. Now that we know like what it is, that it's not going to be too crazy and like take over the whole world. Um, I think we can safely throw another one in like this direction. This area has just become the messy bad area. It is what it is at this point, you know what I mean? Let's, like, throw another one right over there. Oh! No, no! It can actually do big stuff. It's a freaking shipwreck. Oh, that's good, though. Is there gonna be some good loot in here? Uh, empty map, uh, paper. There's a feather! Yes! Do I only need one feather? I might need more than one feather. But I have copper. There's another chest, though. Ooh, there we go. 
That's what we like to see. Look at all that. Look at these riches. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff right there. Gold. We got the gold. Give me the gold. Is there like a sideways shipwreck? Yeah, this could have really butts things up. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't realize what all was going to spawn, but now we know. I didn't get my fragment back also, so like that's kind of a bummer. We got like all this weird swimming area now. Just swim right over the void. Don't even worry about it. I think there's usually only two chests in these things. All right, well, cool. We got some good treasures. Holy schmoly, we're getting a lot of animals spawning in now. This is kind of good. Hoping for like some pigs or chickens or something. Well, I mean, we already have pigs. We have we have a decent amount of pigs. I, I meant to say uh, cows or chickens. All right, we do have some copper. Let's see, can we make, oh, we can actually make a brush. Very freaking nice. All right, so like next on the advancements, we have create a pillager outpost. That's gonna be a kind of a dangerous one. Because if I take out one of the banner carriers, I'm going to end up with a freaking raid right at my village because my village is right here. So that's something maybe I should make farther away and maybe wait a bit on doing. But we got that and a woodland mansion. And I honestly, I don't even know how you do those. Uh, where do you get the fragment for that? Use a dark fragment obtained from a cave. That's one that, you know, we can work towards. We have a lot of cave fragments, but I've not seen the dark fragment. An igloo fragment obtained from a stray or snow golem. Okay, so we either need two. We need to kill a snow golem? Like, we had snow. We could make snow, but we need pumpkins. So somehow I need to get... Create a mine shaft. We kind of already did that, didn't we? Isn't that considered a mine shaft? I don't know. But we're going to need more cave fragments is what it seems like. Possibly could throw more temple fragments. We try more overworld fragments because maybe getting a snowy zone... We'll get stray spawning in. Yeah, maybe if we get a like big snowy area, we'll get we'll get a bit of stray spawnage. But anyways, I kind of want to like try this out. What are we gonna get? Is that a piece of wheat? Oh, it was a treasure fragment. Oh, okay. So th now I'm figuring it out. Now this is where we're getting more fragments. I think these are just regular gravel. Yeah, those are just regular gravel. So those can be gone. Uh, we have, I think over here in, in this thing, I believe there's some uh, sussy gravel. Are you sussy gravel? Are you sussy gravel? This one is. There we go. Ooh. Riches. We're getting riches. Oh. I need to breathe. Kind of wanting to uh, dig up the gravel that's not sussy gravel and... Uh, Okay, so there is a chest in here. I should have known. Of course they would do such a thing. Rotten flesh, we got a luck of the sea fishing rod. Cool. Good. A little bit of enchantment. Never hurt nobody. And uh, what happens if we, like, what happens if we fish in here? Because this is, like, considered an ocean, right? We can just kind of fish from here. Use my temple as a fishing platform. Ooh, what'd we get? Oh, we get ocean fragments from fishing. Okay, nice. Actually kind of handy. Yeah, we can just kind of stand up here and fish, I think. But we also get fish, so that's good. I wonder, uh, let's see, can I get some slime balls from this guy? Where'd he go? You didn't just fall off, did you? Oh, no, you didn't just fall off, did you? Did he just really fall off or despawn? I was going to see about getting some, like, regular slime balls. Well, frig. Alrighty, so we have a treasure fragment. Restores a small part of the world. Let's try this sucker out. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I ever even showed you guys... Uh, I updated the uh, cobble generator. I, for I even forgot about it myself. I've been getting like stuff from just regular um, like stone from over here and stuff. So I, I didn't even really think about it. <laughs> but anyways, where shall we throw a treasure fragment? I, it's kind of close to the house over there. I don't know how big this one's going to be. So maybe let's just chuck it out over this way. Like I've been doing, just kind of build me a bit of a platform. All right, I, I don't know how big this one's going to be. Hopefully it doesn't butts up my cobble generator. I kind of picked a weird spot for this, but you know what? It is what it is. I think we can make another cobble generator at this point. I think we're pretty well uh, set on stuff. Oh, no. Why did it have to fall? Oh, it just gives me a... Oh, 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 oh that's... Yeah, that's a good one. I, you, you know, you love to see that. That's actually like some very handy stuff. Nautilus shells. Uh, I didn't get a heart of the sea. Now, what is this one? Pyramid fragment. We got a new fragment from that and a little bit of cooked food. More gold. Water breathing, not super handy. TNT, I don't know. Maybe we just blow this place up when we're done. Yeah, what do you think? When it's all said and done, 
We just destroy the whole the whole area. <laughs> Start back at the void. Just TNT it everywhere. So yeah, I mean, we have this crazy area. At least we have our nice area here. I'm gonna keep this area like nice and uh, kind of organized, looking good. You know, we'll just throw overworld fragments and try and get more overworld stuff over this way, I guess. And uh, that area over there is just gonna be my... It's all butt stuff. You know, it's all crazy. We're just gonna keep throwing crazy stuff over there. Uh, so I'm gonna put this treasure away. Then we'll go ahead and we'll throw a pyramid fragment. All right, there's an enderman. Let's try Let's try this situation again. Will I be able to uh, maybe... Oh, no, I, I don't want to die in the void. I'm trying to get him to my, my little platform. God dang it, there's always a creeper, though. Why is there always a freaking creeper? Where'd he go? Where'd my enderman go? I wanted to bring him into the to the zone. He's mad. He's somewhere. Is he stuck? Hey, how can you be stuck? You can teleport, bro. You don't just get stuck. The butts is wrong with you. All right, maybe if I fix up the situation over here, <laughs> flatten it maybe somewhat, I, I might be all right. All righty, time for a pyramid fragment. What is... Oh, there he is. Now he shows up. Yep, great. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, that was that was good. Can't show up to my little spawnage platform, but you'll uh, you'll show up over across the ocean. And now somebody's shooting an arrow at my back. Okay, let's try this again. Will you come over here? Hey, my dude. What what did you just do? Where did you just go? You're doing it again. <laughs> what an idiot. Where even is he? Ah, uh huh. Well, nope, that was bad. I don't know, man. This may be the time where I die the most here. Like I said before, though, at least the map creators were nice enough to not let me lose all my stuff when bad things happen. All right, let's go ahead and let's throw this pyramid fragment just to see what's going to happen here. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, that's definitely something. If I needed sandstone before, I don't know. We've, we've definitely sandstoned. I, you know, I, I guess, I don't know what I was really thinking when it says pyramid, you know. I, I, I didn't really think of this as a pyramid, I guess. Because it's like, it's a desert temple. That's always what I've called it. That's always what I've thought of it as, you know what I mean? But now we have another huge area to freaking light up. Massive, as uh, Cap would enjoy me saying. I don't know why, but he, uh, <laughs> he loves when I say massive. Uh, let's go ahead and dig on down. There's another good treasure source. All right, you must go bye-bye, pressure plate. And here we're going to have some more TNT. Fantastic. So much TNT. We're definitely going to have to blow this whole joint up when I'm done here. Sand? Kind of good. The uh, gapple, that's nice. Silk touch. Oh, that's good. Golden apple, yep. Um, so can you still use... I don't know if it's this version or another version. I think they changed the fact that like you used to be able to use a silk touch book to break things and actually get the silk touch effect. But I don't know what version, like, that, that happened in. Oh, hey, we got an Ender Pearl. Very nice. I don't know if we're going to actually need them in the long run. Like, cause I'm, I'm assuming there's a way to get to the end, maybe? Is there a way to fight the dragon? I don't know. Did we get a Stronghold Fragment? Throw the fragment to restore a small part of the world. Okay. Yo. Kind of big. That's what I was just talking about. Is there a way to get to the end? And we just got a Stronghold Fragment. So, like, that might have just answered my question right there. All right, so this thing's uh, tapped out. We've gotten all that we can get from this. And now we've just created another massive spawnage area. But, oh, wait, is this... Are we going to have sussy sand? I think this is sussy sand, isn't it? Or at least some of it is. This one? I don't, I don't know. It's so hard to tell the difference. Is there more sand down below? I guess the way you could tell, right, is... Um... Oh, I don't have a shovel. Okay, I need to go get a shovel. All right, so I'm back with a shovel. I'm thinking the way that we could tell is by, like... Breaking it. Yeah, because, like, look at how quick the regular sand breaks. I think sussy sand does something a little different, doesn't it? Wait, these are... This is a staircase. What the heck? Why is there a staircase here? What is this? Is there something I don't know about in Minecraft? This is not sussy sand, though. Why is it not sussy sand? Ah, that's sussy sand, isn't it? Yes. Give me a little bit of TNT. Very nice. Can sussy sand fall? Does it have, like, gravity also? Aha, more sussy sand. We've become an archaeologist today. Well, I guess you learn something new about Minecraft. Like, because I... Uh, well, is this is this part of the map, or is this, like, just a Minecraft thing? Because I had no idea that there was just, a, like, a staircase and, like, a, another room down here. I'm just kind of curious if we're going to get anything good. Oh, is that a diamond? Yeah. You actually can get some good stuff. 
emeralds, diamonds. Is that a pottery shard? Oh, heck yeah, we can do some decoration. We're going to get some pottery shards. Is that another one? No, that is a pyramid fragment. Okay, so we can get another pyramid, actually. I guess it, it is easy enough to tell apart the sussy sand from the regular sand. Is there, like... Is this, like, another treasure room? Is there, like, something down below here? You know, because they got the, like, X marks the spot kind of thing, once again. Hmm. I'm curious. You guys, let me know uh, down below, because I've never experienced this before. Hey, we got a couple uh, archer pottery shards. Very nice. All right, cool. I guess there's a new room in the temples, maybe. Uh, very nice. But uh, anyways, we got some treasure. We did we did some good stuff today. We actually made some progress towards the advancements. Got some treasure. Whole bunch of good stuff. Some new shards. We got a stronghold shard that we can uh, test out. But we will save that for the next time because it is the end of today's episode. Well, it'll be the end after we take out this slime. I want to find out if I can get some slime balls. No, don't fall. Don't fall. Please don't fall. There you go. Come on this way. Okay, we are getting regular slime balls. Okay, but we're also getting moss and um, cave fragments. All right, cool. Uh, just good thing to know, I guess. Alrighty, well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Void Hero Map. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. That helps me out a bunch. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already, so that way you can stay up to date on any of the future streams or videos. Join the Discord if you want to come by and chat. And if you want to help support the channel, it's only 99 cents here on YouTube to become a member. And that will give you a lot of cool perks, such as access to a 24-7 cross-platform vanilla Minecraft server that you can join whenever you want or with me on either Wednesdays or Fridays, I think, is when I'm going to be streaming that. Uh, the new season of it is going to be starting once 1.21 of Minecraft drops, which should be pretty soon here. I'm thinking, like, coming up uh, this summer. But uh, anyways, guys. Oh, also... I always tend to forget merch link is down below you can check out some of this merch we got the hats we got the shirts uh if you're interested in any of that yeah definitely check that out anyways guys hopefully we'll see you in the next one peace